It is the next project day. And on this project, we'll be doing panelling throughout the whole house. Previously, we fitted two media walls. And on this project, we still have to do the coving, take out a wall and put a drop ceiling. And we still have to do a few other things. But today, we're just doing the panelling. And at the end of every job, I will tell you how much I've charged. So sit back, relax, maybe get some popcorn and watch us do the panelling throughout this whole property. So this is the room that we're going to start in. So when doing any type of panelling, setup is key. Like if you correctly set out, then you literally can't go wrong. Also, with panelling, a lot of it is down to preference. On this job, the client has given me a type of design to follow. So following the design that he has sent to me, I then get my measurements, draw it out on the wall first, and once he confirms he's happy, I then start cutting the panels and fitting the panels. A thing to look out for when doing panelling is the socket locations. I don't want any of the panels to land on any sockets, and because I'm doing these double panels, I need to make sure the inner panel doesn't also land on the socket. So right now, I'm going to quickly show you how I set out these panels. So on this wall, I'm starting the panel at 180mm from either side of the wall. I make these marks, then measure in between the two marks. The measurement comes at 3145mm, 3 meters, 145 we have having the gaps in between each panel, 150mm. We're having three panels, so there will be two gaps. To work out the size of the panels, I do 150 times 2, which is 300, to allow for the gaps. I then take 300 away from the overall size of 3 meters 145 which leaves me with 2,845, 2 meters 845 I then take this and then divide it by how many panels we'll be having. So we're having three panels, so three divided by two meters eight hundred and forty five. And that equals nine hundred and forty eight point three. So that is the size of each panel in width. Using these measurements I then make my marks on the wall. <laughs> I then check the opposite wall and make sure the wall was the same width, which it wasn't. It was 10mm too wide, so instead of coming 180mm off each side of the wall, we came 185mm and then marked out the exact same. So now that all the marks are done for the panel width, I then mark out for the heights. I'm doing the bottom panel 150mm away from the skirting then 400mm high. Then the distance from the bottom panel to the top panel will be another 150mm. Then I'm doing the top of the top panel in line with the architrave. So now that I've got all the marks, I get my laser level and straight edge and then draw out the panels on the wall. And here is the panels marked out on the wall. So I speak to the client, make sure he's okay with the sizes and everything. And he was. So now that the panels are drawn out, we can start cutting the timber to make up the panels. Since we have already made the marks, this is very easy. We literally just measure and then cut, making sure the 45 degree cuts are inside the drawings we've made. So right now, Drew is going to cut while I fit the panels.
Okay, so as you can see, the panels, the outer panels are completed. So that's how we've done it. All the outer panels have been completed. Use the block and the laser level. And this is how it looks. Okay, now we just need to do the inner panels. So to mark out for the inner panels, I'm just using a block cut at 50 mil to create an even margin. Okay, so as we go around, I'm gonna use this block and pin them on. The other carpenter has already cut up all the pieces for me. So again, as I've done the outer panel, I just do the exact same method to do the inner panel, following my marks, gluing and pinning. When pinning, always watch out for sockets. Don't go directly above the socket because there may be wires. So right now, I'm just gonna do all the inner panels. So as you can see, this room is now done. Now to save this video being about 20 hours long, I am going to edit this video down and show you me doing panelling throughout the whole house. At the end, I will also tell you how much I charged for this job. So the way that I do panelling is wall by wall. What I mean by this is I measure out each wall and work out for my panels so depending on the size of the wall, the panels may differ slightly. I do this on each wall so that the wall looks right and I don't get any half panels. But right now, I'm gonna get on with this job and I've got a lot of cutting to do.
what I want to do is get in here completed so I need to get these panels done they're already drawn out apart from this one I need to fit a very little one here so I need to draw that one out but yeah just these panels to do in here Okay, so now's the moment some of you might have been waiting for. How much did I charge on this job? So on this job, it was me and the other carpenter. The apprentice was there sometimes, but it was mainly just me and the other carpenter. So it took us about three to four days. We was doing stuff in between, but it took about three to four days to do the whole house. And it was i did do a few late ones because it was a lot of paneling to work it out and then to do the paneling and then to do paneling inside the paneling it took longer than i expected i've never done double paneling but i should have known it's double the time because it's double the panels so yeah um i think i did undercharge on this job some of you may say it's too expensive some of you may say it's not enough personally i think i did on the charge a little bit on the paneling but it is what it is for paneling the whole house i charged 1200 and that's for everywhere in the house so upstairs all of upstairs the bedroom going down the stairs the hallways top and bottom um everywhere downstairs so yeah the whole house and it also included moving some of the sockets i think we had to move three sockets so yeah and it covered me and the other carpenter so yeah that's how much i charged it was a lot of paneling um i did do that there was an outhouse that i done but i didn't get any clips of that and that was an extra 200 so in total is 1400 but for the whole house it was 1200 and then it was extra for the outhouse 200 so yeah that doesn't cover any materials just straight labor so the client brought all the panels he brought literally the panels the glue and the nails did he charge the nails i think i might have brought the nails actually i think i brought the nails um but he brought everything else and that came out at 1200 but yeah decent job i think i undercharged a bit but it's all right it's still all right and i enjoyed the job like i got sick of paneling towards the end but i actually really enjoyed doing this job and yeah so it's been two media walls the paneling i also done the coving it was a good job i'll speak about the job in a different video so i'll tell you how much i made in total and everything in a different video but yeah, until next time, goodbye.
oh and please like and subscribe it really helps the channel and i'll be posting a lot more project videos if you like them so yeah goodbye